Hello wonderful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I am going to do a review on House of Jean Paul Gaultier and it's going to be a flanker of a very popular fragrance called La Molle. Uh, we're going to be looking at a flanker of this one and limited edition. I believe nobody has any review on this yet because you know these are the sound of the fragrances, they are limited time release, you know not everybody buys them or review them. So I felt like, you know, want to collect it and talk about it, see what this is all about, if it's interesting. I blind bought it basically, so I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on this very beautiful Lobo Mall from 2014 limited edition, Captain's uh, limited, this is a long name basically, let me read out the whole name. It is Lobo Mall Captain Collector Jean-Paul Gaultier for Men, 2014. That's what Fragrantica suggests. Really beautiful bottle and really uh, interesting smell. Uh, so we'll be looking at that in depth. So before that, I always forget to ask you guys, how are you doing? You know, like properly, everything is good in your life. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing all right. Okay. So first of all, where do we start? I have a bunch of fragrances here, you know, like the, I'm going to show you my Jean Paul Gaultier Lamal uh, flanker collection as well. The ones that I reviewed, I'll tell you about it. I'll talk about this one. Then I'll talk about which are the other fragrances that is similar to this, because this fragrance seems kind of like unique, you know, like it is not a typical uh, fragrance that you come across like you know come by every day you know like uh, so let's see what you get so first of all Lamal is a huge success Lamal for me I think this is one fragrance it's iconic fragrance if you see the bottle you guys know you may like it you may not like it it is very sweet powdery mint tonka and vanilla and lavender sort of a bomb powdery fragrance and it gets still a lot of love in the community and uh, this still sells available in the market so alongside that, I also own Ultra Male, my most favorite, I would say. It's really, and I also am lucky to have the BPI version, as you can see. And also, I will show you two other that I reviewed also, Popeye and Superman, all fresh, limited time release. And then my very favorite also, like uh, Lamal Essence, the juice color got really dark over the years now, four years. So apart from that, I did, I think, uh, Lamal uh, in the Navy as well as uh, Fleur de Mall and Lamal Le Table. So I reviewed, I'll put the link below, you can check out all the reviews. So from these, I really want to try Le Beau Mall. So this is what is a like a limited time release of that. But Le Beau Mall is supposed to be a different kind of unique perfume they released. And uh, it's also Francis Kirkjean who did it. So I really wanted to try it. Uh, apart from that, I think the collector's edition, they have a Christmas edition, they also have a, I, re, I don't remember, they have quite a few limited time release. So if you uh, get to try them, you know, it will be very nice. So here you go. It typically comes in this, like this beautiful uh, packaging, 125 mil, I guess. Yes, 125 mil EDT. And these are kind of relatively cheaper than Lamal. I bought it for about less than $60 for a big bottle from USB page, UK Shopping from BD. And here's the name, very beautiful nautical design, you know, like, because it's something to do with the Navy men, so it has this world map or something like that. Really nice. The color is light blue, sort of up there like that. Bottom, it looks like this. Do not cut open the can. I saw someone did it. Do not do that. Just open it from the bottom. Be careful. It's a little bit tough, but then the bottle sits here in the podium. It says Jean-Paul Gaultier, and this is a BPI version. Okay, so inside, the bottle holds inside that uh, nice little... Uh, I don't know, holder. <laughs> so yeah, the bottle is the reason. I'll tell you, I'm just not gonna lie. I bought this fragrance because the bottle looks really awesome. So here you go. It has a beautiful golden, almost golden amber like stripes here with the beautiful see-through, uh, kind of like a greenish blue bottle with that uh, golden atomizer with that typical stopper. You take it out. Sorry, it's a bit tough on this one. Take it out and that's where it sprays. Spray is really, really good. Okay, really shoots out a long way. And uh, the bottom, you find the information and the batch code and all that. So this bottle is really lovely. Someone asked me, like, is this the Lamal bottle? I'm mistaken it for thinking this is a Lamal edition collector, like collector's edition. No, I knew this is Le Beau, so I bought it on purpose. So I have it on the paper. So first of all, this fragrance does not have that many notes. It's, uh, it's enlisted like four notes only. Uh, I think there is orange blossom, there is musk, there is mint, and I think tonka or something, or lavender, sorry, lavender. So those are the four notes, let me check once again. Yeah, lavender, uh, orange blossom, basically neroli, musk and mint. So if you compare with the Lebeau Mall, it has some, like those has some other ones, they have some little bit more notes. But 
what I smell from this, it smells very simplistic sort of perfume for summer and spring. Okay, this is where I think this is going to work really, really well. Longevity from this is not a beast mode like Lamal Ultra Male, but lasts on me like seven hours for longevity and two hours to two and a half hours of nice little projection. I would go on this about uh, four to five sprays on the shirt and skin combined and that will actually do the seven hours trick on me. So this is going to be a great fragrance to wear for office, gym, where you don't want to offend people and you want to be a little bit different than other people where everybody's wearing sweet or freshies, typical fresh like Sauvage or Versace Purim. You're going to stand out in, this, in the public or in the, you know, uh, mass gathering <laughs> wearing this. And uh, one other thing, there's a Gautier, you know, like uh, detailing there. Really nice feel to the bottle, by the way. So uh, the fragrance is kind of unique, okay? And it's not for everybody. This is accurate taste. I'm not going to say this is going to appeal to everybody because the opening is a little bit off-putting to my nose at least, you know. I don't know if it's been six years because of that or uh, the fragrance opening is meant to be like this. It does not offer any sweetness to my nose or any citrus. The opening is about mint and orange blossom. Orange blossom is supposed to be like something like a bitter neroli sort of and you get that from this. Let me spray this once more and I remind myself of oh, this, this stopper is horrible. I'm telling you, it gets stuck. <laughs> So perhaps it's just my bottle, okay? And the sprayer once again, really, really good sprayer. So when you spray this for the first time, you know, I was expecting, to be honest, I was expecting some vanilla, some sweetness, even though I know this is like a Lebo. Lebo is supposed to be like a, a more fresher, more uh, sea accord like When you smell it for the first time, I get a little bit of alcohol blast. I think it's perhaps the age, six years, but uh, it goes away like 10 seconds or 15 seconds. It's not a big worry. But uh, once you start smelling it, you get that beautiful mint. And the mint is not the sweet variant. You know, it has, the, first of all, that uh, bitter neroli and that mint that combines. It gives you sort of like a cooling, uh, sort of like a damn day of uh, like fall um, season. Okay. And it's not exactly typical summer freshy. When you smell it, it smells like, a, like basil or a mint leaf that is crunchy. And it's uh, like organic, you know, it's not like the one that you find in the can. You sprinkle some on your pizza or something like basil leaves. No, it's it's, it's the fresh variant. So if you're growing like, <clears throat> sorry, if you're growing fresh basil, you know, like backyards or mint, and you just take out some of the leaves and you use it on your, uh, say, cooking, salad, whatever the case, tea, you're going to get the mint from this, okay? And it's really refreshing. And let me tell you why I'm not disappointed. It doesn't smell like Lamal. Or even if you're thinking like for that matter, a Popeye or Superman. The reason I'm not disappointed because I wanted something different. Okay. I did not want a typical uh, same old Lamal in a different can. Some people say it's similar to Lamal meets cool water. And I can tell you the lavender part definitely pops up in this one. It's similar in that bitter way, like bitter water way. Okay. Uh, Today everything's going wrong. I had a horrible day. Okay, so yes, you can definitely see some association with cool water, but this is not a cool water clone. Then if you do like the mint in the Jupom Sport, Yopom Sport, it's way sweeter with the Tonka. This one doesn't have any sweetness, just that mint. If you did like uh, Cartier Roadster, if you did like, the closest I found this one to be is Carmen Lowington's, but this is way sweeter. So, um, yeah, if those fragrances are favorite, you can definitely try it. It's definitely different in the whole lineup of my Lamal bottles. You know, that's what makes me happy. Uh, performance is good for a fresh perfume uh, and it doesn't smell like 10 other fragrances in the market. That's what makes me happy. But most of the people cases would be like, they want something that smells like ultra male in a fresh perfume. Okay, they want sweetness. And the sweet trend is going on for some time. Um, this is totally different than the sweet uh, trend. So if you're tired of your sweet fragrance, you can give it a try. If you buy this bottle, I think you get a very beautiful bottle, 125 mil. Uh, not bad at all. I most, uh, on most part, I like Lamal fragrances a lot. So this is uh, a love it or hate it kind of fragrance. That's what I'm going to conclude by saying. Uh, performance is good. Price is extremely good. A um, bottle is really beautiful. If you buy the Lamal Collector's Edition or Captain's Edition, you're going to get a darker bottle like ultra male with that golden stripes on it so that will be the lamal so be sure you know what you're buying do not buy in a rush impulse buying buying a wrong fragrance okay so i wanted a label i got a label so overall 
this perfume, uh, if you ask me, um, as I told you, love it or hate it kind of fragrance. You might really enjoy it. I really enjoy that dry down a lot. The fragrance seems like a cold day, like Bangladesh winter. You know, in the morning, you're going for a morning walk and just going to have tea after that. That's just a perfect. You're just going to go by a lake, you know, a little bit of watery effect. So that freshness mixed with the lavender. So the lavender, if you're not a very big fan of, stay away from this one. If you do not like lavender, do not try this. So it's a lavender, mint, musk, and uh, orange blossom combo. That's what Labo 2014 Captain's uh, Limited Collector's Items. Long name. Uh, overall, this perfume, longevity and projection, I'll give it like 7.5 out of 10. And not the beast mode, but quite good performer. Versatility, you can wear this all year round. Easy, okay? You can wear this uh, in the office, gym, sport, even uh, boardroom meeting, like casual, really good uh, longevity for, you know, indoor setup. Uh, compliments, you might get compliments, but you're not going to get compliments from it. It's kind of like a well done fragrance. You expect that from Jean Paul. And for instance, uh, Mason Francisca Jean, not Mason Francisca Jean, he is a legend. Whatever he creates, I always have massive respect for him. Okay, so it's a nice little fragrance. Overall, this perfume, I'm giving this 7.5 on an average uh, for what it is. And for a very beautiful bottle, the bottle I'll give it 10. Bottle presentation and can, these are 10 for collector's item. Okay, so check it out and I will try to get my hands on the like what Lamal uh, limited time release and Christmas edition. I love those Christmas bottles. So everybody take care. Thanks for watching. Um, today is a bit longer video and I'm just glad I could show you this perfume review because there's none on YouTube. Take care guys. I'll see you soon and uh, good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.